So, you want to fix low poly meshes? Well, there's some things you can do, but make sure first you get as low as to the ground as possible. And then make sure you call your best friend Polly, because Polly wants a cracker. Hey guys, welcome on back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.8.2, and we're taking a look at how to fix low polyness, choppy, blockiness kind of shading, smooth, flat shading kind of stuff. Yeah, that was a super long run on sentence, but it's fine. Um, this isn't a grammar channel. Um, hey guys, <laughs> I said hey guys, what am I doing? Wait a minute, hold on, I'm all confused now. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use not default cube, so I'm going to hit delete. And we're going to hit shift A to search for a icosphere. And before we do anything with that, I'm going to go to icosphere down here. Change subdivisions to uh, approximately maybe five, that's fine. Then we can click off of that. Now, you can see what we would initially do is go to object and then go to shade smooth because as you can see, we see a lot of choppiness, we can see all the vertices, super triangular, you see all that looks like Epcot from Disney World, but we can fix that by going ahead and go to shade smooth and boom, boom, biggity, boom, boom, bap, bap, boom, bow. You can see that we have some very smooth uh, spheriness. You can't even look at that. It looks like a smooth, look at that. Mm. Anyway, um, now that's what we would usually do, but let's say you're using some kind of displacement. So. I'm going to real quick and go and add a modifier. This modifier is going to be the displacement modifier. I'm going to hit new on the texture and then go down to the texture tab here and change this from image or movie to let's just do clouds. Why not? We'll do clouds. Now, I can change the size. I can change the whatever. Um, just leave that maybe on, we'll do that on 0 0.05. Change the modifier. We'll turn the, the strength down to like 0.2 or something. Um, and this looks pretty good. I'm going to go to the material tab up here by going to material viewport. Um, now, if we go ahead and add in a subdivision surface, um, um, a, subdivi a subdivision surface, you can see we round out those little bits and stuff, which looks pretty good. Um, but what I want to do to take this even further is because maybe I don't want just some noise like this. Maybe I want some noise as a texture, so as a material, sorry. So I'm going split to my, split my window into two, drag from the left-hand top side here, or the bottom side, doesn't matter which side. I'm going to change this to the shader editor. Now, if I go ahead and hit new up here, and then grab uh, this guy, move him over, and then hit Shift A. We can add in a, we can search for a noise texture. I'm gonna search for noise, just simple, simple noise, right? I came up with this because on on accident, and you guys are gonna see this is gonna blow your minds. I'm gonna hook up the color into the displacement here, so now you can see what the freak just happened. Um, I don't I don't know what just happened here. So this does not look good. Usually, if I unhide all of this all this stuff here. If I hide all that, you can see this is what the, the, noise, the, the noise texture looks like when you use it in, as a material. So I can turn the detail up. It looks like a rock. Look at that. This is gorgeous. This is what I want it to look like. Why doesn't why it look like this? I just I just want to be able to have the, the, the displacement on there so it has like bumpiness. So that I could actually, the mesh is actually bumpy like a rock instead of just the material. How do I do this? What, what's going on here? Why? Why does it look like this when I when I do this? Huh? Why? Look, you see that I, I can see the material under there, but it's super triangular and, and choppy like Epcot again. I don't want Epcot. I'm not I don't want to go to Disney World right now, okay? Why is it like this? My friends, it's a simple explanation. If we go up here to object and take take this off of shade smooth and put it back on shade flat. Why? Why 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 is it on shade flat? I'm confused. Why why does it look like this? What it's backwards. So if you have this on shade smooth, you can see that we have all of this disgusting choppiness and all this blocky triangular stuff, low polyness. And then if we go to shade flat, which is usually the one that you don't want to be on, it looks good. Why? So I've seen a lot of people ask me about why stuff is like choppy and just looks bad and their meshes look super low poly. This is why. This is why, guys. This is the reason. Now you can have that nice bump from the displacement modifier like that, and you can have your gorgeous, gorgeous noise texture. Very cool stuff. I can zoom in there. We have that nice detail in there, but if I put this back on Shade Smooth, you can see we have that. What even is that? Like, I, what, what am I looking at? I don't understand. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that it saved you a lot of issues, and I hope if you run across this in the future, you now know how to fix it. You take it off a of shade smooth and put it on shade flat, boom, biggity, bat, bat, boom, bow. You got some nice looking rocks. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Hope I saved you some headaches. I hope I, 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 I helped you out in any way. If I did, make sure to let me know down below as always. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.